Hello beer tubers, welcome to yet another blind tasting on the Master of Hobbits, another mystery edition where I do not know anything about the beer. Uh, this is again from Beer Dome and Brett. So Beer Dome and Brett got, or Ronald from Beer Dome and Brett got this started. And uh, we had some fun uh, tasting so far. So let's just dive right into it. Check out Beer Dome, link for the shop is down below. So this is definitely judging by the color an Imperial Stout. It's thick looking, it's pitch black, and also the previous one, I graded way too highly, I, I, it just got so cloy cloyingly sweet. I meant to, I put a thing in the video too, but that beer was just, yeah, it was, it was, it was sweet. So, um, yeah, it was, I think it's just too much lactose and whatnot in that one. But this one looks nicer, I mean, this one also has a head, and it's, it looks more like a stout because it's actually black tan looking head. Let's take out the aroma on this one. Let's see what we get. Ooh, it's roasty, chocolatey. There is something that reminds me of chili in this. Like a slight kind of fruity bell pepper thing. It could also be coffee. Roasty, toasty. Yeah, there is a tingle in my nostrils. Making me think chili or coffee. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see. It smells nice, but much more robust, which I prefer. Ooh. A little bit dark fruity, too. Very creamy. Maybe this has lactose, too. It's sweeter than I expected. Or at least oats. So it's quite chocolatey, like coconut-y. Yeah, chocolate, co coconut, slightly dark fruity, roasty, toasty. I don't know about the chili thing I talked about the aroma. Maybe it's more like a coffee thing, like a green coffee thing on the flavor. But yeah, okay, style. It's an imperial stout. Yes. That's easy. Uh, ABV. Like like ten or twelve percent, something along those lines. It's twelve. Twelve percent. Okay. As for additions on this, I, I can't guess the specific beer. I can't. I I I, I have no idea. Um, hmm. Does it have coconut? Uh, nope. Okay, so that's just like chocolatey malt flavor then. Coffee. Good. So it was coffee, green coffee, and not chili. Because it, yeah. I, I, and the aroma for a quick second reminded me of the briny chili flavor I sometimes get when, uh, you know, in me Mexican, st or, uh, uh, what's it called? Cake. Mexican cake. So an imperial coffee stout. Lactose or oats? It doesn't say. I don't, I don't know about oats, but not okay. lactose. It's on the sweet side, so it's, yeah. Um, it's very velvety and fluffy and creamy. It's not like crazy hefty and thick, but yeah. So, di yeah, definitely coffee, but no chocolate. I thought it was quite chocolate. Maybe a little, no, I, I, I don't two, know. Two adjuncts more than coffee. Two more adjuncts, okay, more than coffee. Maybe my palate's a bit shocked after eating a bunch of fries and a burger for, <laughs> for dinner, being so stuffed that we had to go for a walk. Um, whew, this is hard, because to me, I'm only really picking up on the coffee. And this is also not the first blind tasting, but... It's not barrel aged, right? Yeah, good, so that's right. Because uh, it doesn't taste like, per se, barrel aged. Huh, that's really hard with the other flavors. The coffee's really what's sticking out to me, but I don't know. I think it's because it's real. Okay, so you, it's maple syrup or what? No, no, but it's real. A oh, real ingredient. Hmm. So not, yeah, I don't know. Could it be a little bit coconutty? No? I don't, yeah, not really good. I, I, I really can't guess the last items. No. 
I think it's very coffee. To me, it tastes like an imperial coffee stout. Yeah. But I, I really can't pinpoint. I, I can also feel my the palate is tired. Number one, I had a good amount of wine with my dad for Father's Day last night with my my brother-in-law. So my palate isn't 100% pinpointed or uh, on point. And we already reviewed. We did three reviews prior to this. And so... Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I can't guess it. I, I'm. 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 But it's great. 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 It's really nice. It's really good. It's not like mind blowing, but it's nicely balanced. It's not too sweet. It's just really enjoyable. It reminds me a bit of um, the Who Potted in Girl's House. Yeah, because well, it tastes real, but it's not as like yeah umami at all. This is more sweet. But it's quite more fudgy. Oily. It's like oily. Yeah. yeah, and it's more sweet than the Who Potted. Like a 93, I think, is a good grade for this. It's very nice. Yeah. Very nice coffee stout. But yeah, the last two adjuncts, I, if it's not coffee, chocolate, or vanilla, or lactose, I, I, I'm really not sure. It's vanilla. Okay, did I say vanilla? No. Okay, I feel like I said vanilla. Maybe I just mentioned it as a tasting note. Um, but okay, vanilla. That's one but, more adjunct. Okay. It's a bottle. Is this, I think this might be another Brazilian beer because it's an odd shaped bottle. Because I don't think we use bottles like this. Yeah! More Brazilian beer! We're really on the Brazilian. Spartacus! He said so much Brazilian beer from Spartacus. Holy crap. But this is really good. This is much better than the other one. Because it's not too sweet. No. Right? It's also. Good body in. And I think it's also because there's not lactose in it. So this is Spartacus. Icon, biscotti coffee imperial no, stuff. No, there's nothing lactose in it. Yeah, that's what I said. There's oh, not, that's okay. why I said not, not too any sweet. It's almond. Made with dude coffee from Brazil. Almonds, okay, because of biscotti. Yeah, but I think it's quite, kind of maybe a bit drowned because yeah. the coffee and like just base flavors is really pronounced. But actually, it's more now, I think I see small specks of vanilla bean in the glass. And actually, it says on untapped, you can even find some specks in your glass. I don't know if it says that on the bottle. On the bottle, it says everything in Portuguese, so I have no idea. But yeah, okay. More Brazilian beer, 12%. And, like, I'm impressed that they dare do this, but the label is just, it's just an image stolen from 300, the movie. <laughs> With uh, just, like, some adjustment. But hey, this is really good. I had a feeling it'd be Brazilian as soon as I saw the bottle because this bottle shape is never really used by European craft breweries. But it's nice, it's a nice coffee stout. So, yeah, I think 93 is a good grade for this. So there you go, guys. Another beer from Spartacus. If you've had a chance to try their Icon Biscotti Coffee Imperial stout, let me know what you thought of it. Very good. Uh, yeah, that does it for another blind taste. And check out Beardome. Beardome is a great web shop. Link for the shop is down below. I don't know if they still have this. Did they get this recently or what? Yeah. Quite recently. I yeah. think they have it as an exclusive on Biro. Oh, okay, cool. And apparently one of the highest rated breweries in Brazil at the moment. So check them out. And yeah, guys, as always, if you comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I want to say cheers in some coffee imperial stuff. And see you guys in another beer review.